Welcome to skip -a -matics Model Mania. I'm Skip, and this, of course, is my useless assistant and one of my imaginary friends, Earl. And today we're going to do a kit review, and we're going to call these segments, What's in the Box? So, when I saw this come out, I said, you know, I like station wagons. I'm going to have to see about getting this one. And then one day Earl found out about one of the little extras that comes in it. And then he would not shut up. Every day. We gonna get that kit! We gonna get that kit! So finally, to shut him up and appease him, I went ahead and ordered it. Got it in a couple days ago and decided we're gonna crack it open and we're going to look at what's in the box. So first off, this actually is a pretty nice little kit. It's pretty simple. Uh, it's Here's the instructions. It's basically one, two, three, four steps. Uh, this is a curbside kit. It doesn't come with an engine. Uh, but the nice thing about it is the way they designed the kit if you have a spare engine and transmission sitting around in some of your spare parts stash, or you you know you get kits that sometimes have two different engines, you got an extra engine, uh, or you got an old glue bomb you can steal an engine from, uh, you could put it in this. So these are the instructions. Pretty simple, pretty quick to build. And we'll set those right there. The first part we're going to look at the body. Pretty nice little body. Nice lines on it, detail. It's a nice little station wagon body. Under the hood is not like super detailed, but it's got enough there. You can actually work with it if you're one to add your own details in. Um, this would be easy enough to do it. So there's the body. And then next is the chassis. Uh, as you can see, this is open right here. Um, exhaust, drive shaft, rear end, it's all molded in. Uh, so it's not like you got a lot of parts to put together. So most of this kit, all the work, is going to be in detail painting if you want to go crazy with it. So there's the chassis. Of course, you'll have to clean off some of these. Uh, sprue injection points. Um, not sure on this one if you got to be a little careful with that. Not sure if those are going to be some kind of retaining nubs or if you can just cut that off flush. We're going to have to look at that when we assemble it. So there's that. Here's the interior tub. Front seat's molded in. Uh, it's got some it's got the rib texture for the floor mat in the back. Let me see that. Get the light on that just right. Got some shadows here. My lighting sucks. Sorry. But there's the ribs for that rubber floor mat that's usually in the back. Um, the texture on the seats. And the door panels were pretty simple. Could have been a little... The detail is a little faint, but there's enough there. See that or not? So that's the interior. This is for the engine. So if you're building it a curbside, uh, this, there's four locating holes, and it would go like that into there. So if you decided you want to build this with an engine and transmission, you just leave that off and that'll fit in there. And as you can see, 
There's some locating pins there. Get them in there. There we go. So when that goes down, you can see it all nice. So you don't have a whole lot of stuff to try and cover. And a nice engine that should fit in there really nice if you want to do that. Now you can do a LS engine and transmission out of a later model Camaro kit or a I think there's a Silverado kit that comes with a the L LQY or whatever you call them, the truck motors. Um, I have a buddy that has a 66 Nova wagon. He actually put a 5.3 truck engine and transmission in his. It's a nice car. So you can do something like that as a model kit. So there's that interior. Here's the hood. It's separate. So you don't have to worry about cutting the hood off or opening it up if you want to do an engine. So the hood is separate, so that's nice. Uh, the dash is fairly detailed. These were simple dashes. Um, the gauges, the main gauges are not detailed, but there is a decal in the decal sheet for that cluster. Uh, there's the rear seat. And now, um, these are like wheel backs for the tires and wheels. Steering wheel, I believe you might be able to adjust your suspension height on the front. And now we're going to get to one of the details that Earl was all excited about. The little squirrel. When we seen there was a the little squirrel, we definitely had to get this kit. So that will probably be painted to look like Earl. Because he's that kind of narcissist. And... The tires, you get four tires, and they're just like a probably a 14 inch, supposed to be bias ply tires, which would have been, you know, what we would have got on one of these from the factory. And so there's the tires. Uh, here's the chrome tree, pretty straightforward grill front bumper, rear bumper. Um, not sure what those are. Rear view mirrors and your wheel wheel covers. Not sure what those are. Oh, tail lights. Those are the tail lights. And for the clear stuff, there's the clear red. You got your two tail lights. And then the other little feature they give you, a little extra, is a clear transparent red telephone. You see that or not? I thought that was pretty cool. So you get a bat phone. And oh that was your headlights and then there's these two other lenses here. These small lenses. I have no idea what they're for. They're not in the instructions anywhere. I'm gonna assume they might be for dome lights because if you look at the roof in here um, you can see this right there get my hand all the way there and there there's like these little locator holes and like a little recess and those would probably go right over that so you could put dome lights in the ceiling so I'm assuming that's what those for I could be wrong uh, but if I build it, that's probably what I'm using for, unless I find out they go somewhere else. You can see them. They kind of look like a dome light lens. Something like that. There's a hole in the center of them. So you could just use a small little drill bit to lo locate them when you glue them down. But that's what I'm going to use them for. And then last is the decals. Decals are kind of cool. You got uh, telephone repair, bill ringers. Uh, we put the tone back in your phone. There's the gauge decal right there. Uh, there's some of the emblems for the fenders and the hood and and tailgate. See, there's a there's the six cylinder engine badges that go on the front fenders. 
license plates. Is that Victor's vacuums? Uh, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. I'm horrible at that. Uh, it's a grocery service. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, and then there's Public Utilities Commission. Uh, can't those are kind of in white. I don't know if you can see those. Uh, trust your dust to Vix of Vax. And I thought this was kind of cool. I'm kind of a UFO weirdo. Uh, official UFO search vehicle. There's two of those. So you got quite a few options as to how if you want to do something different with your wagon um, for a company or delivery vehicle or repair vehicle or just some crazy maybe you got some UFO type uh, diorama you want to do or like me you're just you I might use the UFO ones so that's the decal sheet and that's about it pretty simple kit uh, like I say most of your work with this kit just be doing the painting and detailing looks like it's going to go together pretty quick and easy and uh, if you don't have it and you like wagons, oh, sorry Earl, uh, get this kit. There's the, this is how we found out about the squirrel. It's on the, where they print out the map of the parts. So quick, easy kit. That'd be a nice addition, even though it's a, meant to be a curbside. I heard rumors that there's going to be another version of this kit coming out with an engine. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not. We'll find out in the future, but even so, if you've got engines and you can bash some, some kits together, um, I recommend you get this kit. One, it's a station wagon, old station wagon. Those are cool. And that's it. So I'm going to clean this mess up and uh, move on to something else. In the meantime, thanks for stopping by. Hope you liked it. Um, go ahead and if you haven't subscribed, Hit subscribe, hit like, leave a comment if you'd like, and uh, come back and see us again. Until later, see you then.